Hey guys, welcome to the beginning of my spring cleaning series. Today we're going to be starting in the kitchen. I'm going to show you guys a ton of ideas and inspiration for deep cleaning, decluttering, and organizing in here. So let's get started. So the very first thing I'm actually going to be doing is showing you guys how I seal our countertops. So as you can see here, there's a lot of resistance on this bottle. And I'll show you how to make it this slick and smooth. So first off, you just wipe it down with soap and water, get all those crumbs and everything off. And then I'm just going to be using a clay bar and clay luber. I'm using an artificial clay bar. It is so much cheaper than an actual one and it works just as well. So this is usually used on cars before waxing to remove any and all contaminants that might be on the surface. So it works great on your countertops too. I can feel the resistance with the clay bar and then I keep scrubbing that spot until it feels no resistance at all and it's nice, slick, and smooth. After claying the countertops, I'm just going to run some hot water and wash off all that clay lube before using. This is a degreaser prep spray and it is also for cars, but bear with me, it really gets everything off of the surface of your countertops and it's soy based. So the sealer we're gonna be using after is gonna bind perfectly to this, which is going to make your counters so smooth. So the main thing to look for in a wax is an SIO2 based wax. And I'm using, I will link this one below in the description along with everything else. And then you just buff it in and your counters look shiny and brand new and are just silky smooth. <laughs> I'm moving right into the freezer now and guys I am so excited to show you the after of this. I got these bins from the container store. I will also link these below for you. And my favorite thing about these is that the label actually comes off very easily. So I'm going to start by just putting all of the things inside my freezer directly into these bins. Trying to organize as much as I can as I take it out of the freezer because I'm going to empty everything out. I had been searching for the best ways to organize this freezer because it is a side-by-side -side and I love our side-by-side -side because we have so much more freezer space, but I felt like everything was just piled on top of each other. I couldn't get to anything, so I'm so excited to show you how these bins helped me. I'm moving my breast milk first to our freezer that's in the garage. It's just a small little like apartment sized freezer fridge combo. We like to keep our raw meats in here and then any like overstock. We also keep all of our drinks on the bottom so that they're nice and cold and ready to go. So I'm going to use vinegar to just spray down the entire surface and then I take out each of the shelves and wash each one with soap and water. And then I'm trying to do this as quickly as possible because everything that's frozen is sitting out on the counter right now. So on the bottom drawer, I actually put our frozen fruit and then this second drawer up, I'm putting all of our frozen vegetables and then I'm putting them vertical so that it's easy to see each one of them. I made sure to make this shelf perfect for the pizza and it actually fits a like regular DiGiorno sized pizza perfectly. And then I'm just using the bins as much as I can. I'm trying to take things out of the boxes to make them smaller. I ended up grouping like fish together, beef together, and then I had like two bins for, for chicken and a couple bins for breakfast. And then down here on the bottom, I'm going to put all of our ice cream because I don't want it to be at eye level because if you don't see it, you are less likely to want to eat it. This is actually everything that I had that I had to throw away because it got freezer burn because I forgot it was in there. And then everything right here was in our freezer here in the kitchen, but I'm going to be moving it to the freezer in the garage. I am so happy with how this turned out, but I'm going to bring it to the next level and add some labels to these bins. You guys know I love labeling things, so let's just snap those labels on. I'm moving on to our refrigerator now, and guys, I feel like there's a huge trend right now with overuse of containers. And if nobody has told you this yet, let me be the first. You do not need a clear container for every single item in your fridge. 
I don't use containers in my fridge. I just think it makes so much more work. Like you have to clean every single container out. So I don't use them. So just like the freezer and everything else that I like to organize, I took everything out of here and was left with this hot mess. So I'm going to be washing this entire thing out just like I did with the freezer, just soap and water on all of the shelves. And then I'm going to use vinegar on the entire inside. I was doing this during my newborn and my toddler's nap. So not only was I trying to move as quickly as possible because I had cold food on the counter, but I was trying to get this done before they woke up. So this video is living proof that you can knock out a fridge organization and cleaning in less than 20-30 minutes because that's how long I had. <laughs> so now that I have everything wiped down, I'm going to pop all the shelves back in and start bringing everything in. So I like to put my drinks on the top and then we also keep like our milk and our creamer on the side there. I like to keep things grouped together like dairy. So all the dairy products are in this upper right corner. I try to make this shelf here just for leftovers and then the shelf above it is snacks. Um, and then don't be afraid to try and move your shelves around in your fridge. I was actually able to move this one up and I gained a shelf because of it. And then I like to keep our meats as far down as possible. I wish they could go for down even further just in case they leak juices. I'm putting all the fruit in this top drawer and then the vegetables on the bottom. And now I have all this extra room in our fridge to go grocery shopping. It is looking a little bit bare now. If you don't already clean out your fridge the day before trash day, I strongly recommend you do that. That way all those leftovers and all that food is not sitting in your trash can and attracting who knows what. I'm moving on to our baking cabinet now and as you can see I've kind of already organized this in one of my past videos before but I am just going to be bringing it to the next level. I feel like every single time I reorganize a space it just gets even better. So this really needed a good clean out and straightening up as well. I'm really happy with how I organized it the first time because it has stayed organized for the most part and I feel like that is key when you're organizing a spot is that it stays that way that it's easy for it to stay that way you want to make less work for yourself in the long run so we have a pantry but it's really small and we have plenty of cabinet space so I've used utilized this cabinet for my baking supply because I usually bake right here on the counter so it's really easy to just pull the stuff down I also have my measuring spoons right in there so everything is within arm's reach and I'm not running all over the kitchen while I'm baking. So I gained a few more cookie cutters since I last organized this cabinet. So I had to add another one of these bins from Target, but I just laid them all out so I can see them. I'm going to use this cabinet shelf that I got from Ross discounted to try and gain a little bit more surface area to put these bins on and I made sure to put all the things that I don't use on a regular basis on this very top shelf and we're gonna do my favorite thing label these bins so I actually have a Cricut cutting machine and I love making labels with it but it takes a while and this label maker just pops them right out and I'm able to just stick them right on it's so much faster and easier I have a newborn and toddler guys. I do not have time to spend hours trying to make labels right now. So we are moving on to the um, like plates and bowls cabinet. And this one just really needed some good straightening up. Got rid of the plates and bowls that we do not use. And then on the top shelf, I actually had some more room. So the cabinet on the right here is way too stuffed. So I'm actually taking all of our recipe books and everything and just switching it to this opposite side since I gained this shelf over here. So initially I had actually tried to move all of our like paper plates and everything onto the top, but it was way too small for the amount that I needed. So that is gonna stay up here in the middle, but you could see the hot mess that it was before. So just adding this mesh shelf and just straightening it up in there really helped and it barely took any time at all. So this next one over is our spices cabinet. I also had some sauces in there, like soy sauce and everything. So I decided to put those next to my vinegars here. 
just to give me a little bit more space in this smaller spice cabinet. I'm still gonna be using this bamboo shelf that they are on. I love this because it's expandable and it goes to the width of your cabinet, whatever it might be. I will make sure to link it in the description, but I'm just grouping all the same brands together and I really feel like this tidied up the whole shelf. I also made sure to put all of our little packets inside this little bin that I got from Target. And then everything is just front and center. Nothing is behind each other. And it's so much easier to get to anything in, that I need in here. Our glorious drink cabinet just needed a really good straightening up and I got rid of all the glasses that we do not use. I also made sure to put the ones that we don't use on a regular basis on the very top. I'm moving on to the drawers now. This is our utensil drawer and it had become a hot mess. You can see I tried to organize it before and it did not stay organized. But once you guys see how I reorganize this space, I use labels, it's perfect. It's not gonna get out of control again because our end goal with organizing is making it easy to keep it organized. So I'm actually taking everything out and then grouping like things together. So I actually made sure to put like all the mixer stuff together. I put all of our mashers together, all of our openers together, all of our tongs together. And then after I clean this drawer out, I actually ended up getting these bins from the dollar store and I'm really happy with them. I'm just trying to find a way to get them to fit perfectly within this drawer. And I was so excited because they fit perfectly side by side all the way across. So when organizing things back in, I always like to start with the biggest items first. So you can see I put that rolling pin all the way in the back and I end up moving things around just to try and get them to fit as perfectly as possible in here. But I am grouping whatever I can together. So I have all my scoops together that I'm putting in right now. And then I have all the whisks together. One is for all of the mixer accessories. And then I'm also going to make one for all of our mashers. And then another one for like openers. And then the last one for like cutting utensils and I end up labeling every single one of these. So there is no excuses for making sure that these end up back in the right spot. This next drawer is a quickie, but I had a whole bunch of stuff in here that actually did not need to be in here. So this is our drawer next to the stove. So it has all of our hot pads and oven mitts in it, but there were some extra like towels in here. There was one left from fall and it really needed to just be wiped down. There were a ton of crumbs in here. But even though it was super quick, it was also extremely satisfying just to straighten this and clean it out. This next drawer is where we keep all of our like parchment paper and tin foil and all of our plastic baggies. We also keep our straws and like drink accessories down here because our cabinet above this drawer is where we keep all of our drinks so I'm not in love with these like metal straws so I end up donating those and then I'm just going through all the straws that we currently have to make sure any of the ones that have like holes or tears in them are being tossed and wiping this whole drawer down so I put the straws in the bin here this one's from Target as well as that bin next to it with the clips that is also from Target and then I just played around with this drawer until I got everything to fit nicely. It was a little hard to make it look visually pleasing, but I feel like I got it pretty close. So I ordered this from Walmart. I will link it below, but it is just like the spice rack. It is expandable for your silverware, so it fits perfectly within your drawer. I felt like our silverware drawer here really needed some TLC. It was a bit cluttered and overpacked, and I really needed a few more uh, spaces so that this area was actually more organized. So I'm gonna bring that right in, and it already looks so much better, but I end up moving things around just a little bit more so that I can have an entire spot dedicated to um, my daughter's um, silverware here on the left. This is a really big drawer. So we call this our utility drawer and it basically has everything that makes our lives easier to have right here centrally in the kitchen. So like 
a tape measure and a screwdriver that you constantly need to replace batteries and things, headphones. I also keep like our essential oils and our um, candle warmers in here because that's where we burn things or, you know, infuse, infuse things here on the counter. And so I really play around with this drawer to get, until I get it how I like it. And this one actually took me quite a bit of time in playing around until I got it to a point that I was happy with. So I just wanted to remind you guys that if it doesn't look good the first time, you can always reorganize it again. Just keep playing with it until you get it to a point that is going to work for you. Sometimes like this drawer was just so overwhelming that I couldn't plan where to put everything. I had to actually physically try and put things in those spots until I got it to a point that was going to be functional for us. This next drawer here is where we keep our towels and just folding them and putting them up vertically just made a huge difference. So this cabinet over here on the right side of our kitchen is where I keep all of our like toddler and baby bottles and basically everything that I need for them and it just needed a quick straightening up so that's what I did. So this next cabinet over here is where we keep our pots and pans and it was so bad that I actually had a little bit of overflow into the cabinet right next to it that I brought out. So this organizer here was off of Amazon and it was so flimsy. We did not like it so I'm putting the shelf that was here before back on here and then I'm just nesting all the same pots together again and Honestly, this is still just more functional than it was before. So this next cabinet here is a hot mess. This, I didn't even know what was in here. Things were hiding. So a lot of it was actually for serving supplies. So that is what I'm going to dedicate this cabinet to. I also had some serving supplies on top of our fridge there. So I pulled all of that down and brought it all to this cabinet. So it's all in one spot. So do you guys know this is really supposed to be like a warmer down here below the oven? I had seen like something on Facebook about it. Anyway, I've never tried it. I use it as storage. I ended up putting all of our grill stuff down here and our cast iron and pizza pans because we don't use them on a regular basis. And then this cabinet that I'm working on right now is all of our pans and honestly everything just needed to be like re-nested together. And I think the only thing I ended up getting rid of in this cabinet was a couple of cutting boards that were cracked and that we didn't use. And it turned out so much better just by re-nesting it and reworking it into this space. So the last time I organized this cabinet, I actually put this little hook here so that I could hang these little oil spit catchers, I don't know what they're called and it saves a little bit more space as well. So this next cabinet over is where we keep all of our small appliances and I just needed to kind of rework this space a little bit. So my goal with this cabinet was to actually get all of our small appliances to fit in this cabinet. I had actually had an extra crock pot on top here and I wanted to put it with my other one. So I met my goal by being able to fit everything right here in one spot. We are moving on to our Tupperware and I feel like this cabinet can be a hot wreck for anybody but I'm just grouping everything back together making sure everything has a lid. That is the main thing with Tupperware. If it doesn't have a lid just toss it. You do not need it anymore. The biggest thing I can recommend with Tupperware is to make sure you have like all the same types of Tupperware. It's going to be so much easier to stack them and organize them into the cabinet. So this next cabinet over, we just keep our Ninja Foodie and then I'm moving on to the last cabinet here guys and it is under the sink. So I moved the basin that was in the sink um, below here because I wanted to make sure I still had a spot for it after it was done reorganizing. My goal here was also to have a spot to put our drying rack that is always on the counter. So I wanted a spot to be able to put it away and make our kitchen look even cleaner when we're not using it. So I'm keeping with the same trend of this video. I'm not really buying anything extra to reorganize this kitchen. I'm using everything that I already have to organize this space. I don't need to spend hundreds of dollars and neither do you on new organizational supplies to make everything look perfect. The goal is to make it look nice but also be functional and not spend hundreds of dollars on organizing supplies that you don't really need. 
So I always put a towel on top before putting the drying rack down here, but it just fits perfectly on that top shelf and I am so happy with how that turned out. So I'm just gonna clean up a whole mess of this kitchen. Everything on the counter here is what I decided to donate. It is everything that was piled into these cabinets that we do not use. I'm donating this pot holder as well, even though it did not work well for us. Maybe it'll work well for somebody else. And just tidying up the rest of the kitchen before moving on to the refrigerator. So on the top here, um, it's kind of just miscellaneous items that we have that I literally have nowhere else to put but we still use. That's the main thing. If we don't use it, I'm getting rid of it. I'm also going to be decluttering all of this stuff on our fridge. Normally I do not like putting anything on our fridge and I'm definitely never putting any stickers back on. You can see the residue there. It was actually extremely hard to get off. I have to use Goo Gone to get it off, but I like our refrigerator look as clean as possible and I don't know how all this clutter ended up on it but on the top here it's all dusty so I'm gonna wash all of that off and I'm also gonna show you guys how I clean up the rest of the fridge with um, the screw gone first but then I like to use just plain old vinegar it makes it so shiny and streak free I've used so many stainless steel cleaners on here before and they're always streaky. My next spring cleaning video is going to be of our master bedroom and master bedroom closet. It's a hot, hot mess. So it's going to be extremely satisfying. I'm going to link it here if it's already up. If it's not, then it's going to be coming very, very soon. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss it. And if you like this video, I hope you give it a big thumbs up for me. It helps my channel a lot and I will see you all very, very soon. Bye.